welcome back last our teaching we discuss about the primary we discuss about main reproductive system and ps of testes transverse section of testes where we told you that the transverse section of testes consists of one to three semina vesicles inside the semina vesicles the two kind of cells are present one is called germinal epithelium other kind are called cervical cells the cervical cells are nerve cells now how the production of sperm or the process of spermatogenesis that occur inside inside the cervical cell we going to learn about this spermatogenesis before this what is gametogenesis gametogenesis is the process of formation of gamete within a gonad the process of formation of gamete within a gonad is called as gametogenesis then spermatogenesis the process of formation of haploid sperm from diploid spermatogonia inside the semi vestibule of testis is called as spermatogenesis The spermatogenesis takes place in three steps. The first step is called multiplication step. Multiplication. Second one is called growth. Third is called maturation. In three step or in three step, the spermatogenesis process takes place. Onset of puberty means when a boy. is pivot or get mature in the age of 12 to 14 years the germinal cells which are present inside the semi vestibule undergo germ cells the germ cells undergo repetitive mitosis process the process spermatogonia Spermatogonia are also called as sperm mother cells. The spermatogonia are also called as sperm mother cells. There are this step is called as multiplication. There are two kind of or two type of spermatogonia are present. Type A spermatogonia, type B spermatogonia. Type A are stem cells. When they differentiate to form type B spermatogonia, the type B spermatogonia undergo a growth and maturation steps to produce spermatozoa. So this spermatogonia, that is the type B spermatogonia, take the nourishment from cervical cells and enlarge, develop to enlarge itself. develop so enlarge cell called primary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte this is nourishment this one nourishment this step is called as a growth period this step is called growth period this primary spermatocyte undergo reduction division that is meiotic division where first meiotic division meiosis first in first meiotic division it produces two haploid secondary spermatocytes in second meiotic division This is four haploid spermatids. This step is called maturation step. So, so onset of puberty is boy. The germinal cells which are present inside the semi vestibule undergo repetitive mitosis process. to produce spermatogonia or sperm mother cells 
this spermatogonia take the nerve nourishment from the cervical cells develop into a large cells called as primary spermatocytes this primary spermatocyte undergo the reduction division in first meiotic division they produce the two haploid secondary spermatocyte and second meiotic division they produce four haploid spermatids so that the formation of haploid spermatid from diploid spermatogonia inside the sending vesicle of testis is called as spermatogenesis this spermatids undergo a maturation step or a differentiation step or a transformation step to develop into mature spermatozoa or they are called as sperms this process of differentiation is called spermiogenesis step is called as spermiogenesis means the differentiation of spermatozoa from haploid spermatozoa from haploid spermatids is called as spermiogenesis many times they ask the difference between spermatogenesis and the spermiogenesis what is spermatogenesis it is a process of formation of haploid spermatid from diploid spermatogonia inside the semi vesicle of testis is called as spermatogenesis but as spermiogenesis the differentiation of haploid spermatid to haploid spermatozoa is called as spermiogenesis here the diploid one diploid spermatogonia produces four haploid spermatid in spermiogenesis the haploid one haploid spermatid differentiate to form haploid spermatozoa whereas the spermatids the in, in, in the spermatogenesis process the haploid spermatids they are non motile whereas the spermatozoa are motile in the process of spermatogenesis there is no loss of any cell organelles but in the differentiation process of spermatid to the spermatozoa the loss of golgi bodies this is the difference between spermatogenesis and the spermatogenesis now we are going to study how the differentiation of spermatid to the spermatozoa occur in first step the nucleus present in the spermatid get enlarged it get enlarged in first step the nucleus which is present in the spermatid get enlarged contains and get enlarged the golgi bodies form acrosome which comes and lie above the nucleus the centrioles the centrioles which are present in the spermatid get separated comes and lie beneath the nucleus and the exile filament run from the distal centriole the mitochondria which are present in the spermatid get spirally arranged around the exile filament this way the spermatid differentiate to form the spermatozoa spermatozoa now we are going to learn about the structure of sperms structure of sperm or spermatozoa the sperms are having four parts okay neck mid piece and the spermatozoa have four parts head neck mid piece and tail head consists of condensed elongated nucleus posteriorly on which or above which the acrosome is present this acrosome is formed from the golgi complex the acrosome containing certain lytic enzymes these lytic enzymes are together called as sperm lysis
head consists of condensed elongated nucleus of which the acrosome is present. The acrosome is formed from the Golgi complex. It contains certain lysis enzymes. They all together called as spur lysis. They are hyaluronidase. 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 Corona degrading enzyme. Corona degrading enzyme. And lastly, zona lysis. is also called as acrosin hyaluronidase corona degrading enzyme zona lysin or it is also called as acrosin all together called as corona lysis these enzymes these lytic enzymes helpful for the penetration of sperm into the ovum of the or egg neck neck consists of two centrio one is called proximal centriole the second one is called distal centriole it is called proximal because it present near to the nucleus whereas the distal centriole because it is far away from the nucleus from the distal centriole the axial filament comes middle piece mid piece consists of mitochondria spirally arranged around the axial filament this mitochondria provide the energy for sperm motility lastly the tail the tail consists of two piece one is called as main piece second one is called as end piece main piece with cytoplasm end piece without cytoplasm this ends the structure of spermatozoa this ends the structure of spermatozoa so when the sperm are formed inside semiferous tubules when these sperms are formed inside the semiferous tubules they are released the process of release of sperm from seminiferous tubule is called as spermiation the process of release of sperm from seminiferous tubule is called as spermiation this semiferous tubule joint to form minor ducts called as tubuli recti tubuli recti joint to form a network of channels called as rete testis rete testis to the vas to francia vas to francia to the epididymis where the concentration or the storage of the sperm takes place then epididymis to the vas differences it passes through all three uh, uh, what is that um, accessory ducts and opening out through a common urinary tract called penis thank you very much